All right, guys. This is Mr. Roberts. Um, I will be your biology teacher for this first semester as well as the second semester. Um, you all should be 11th graders. I've never taught biology to 11th graders, but I have taught um, AP biology to sophomores as well as general biology to uh, sophomores as well. Um, so this will be our first lesson, first recorded lesson. Uh, this will kind of be the rundown of how it'll go while we are virtual. Okay, so I will teach lessons from the board. Anything I write on the board, um, I expect you to be writing it in your notes uh, at the house. Anything I write on the board is important um, for you to know. Okay, uh, so this will be our first lesson. Uh, this won't really be biology specific, but you see on the board, I wrote biology as a study of life. Um, everything we do in this class will be centered around understanding um, why living things do what they do um, in order to survive. Okay, so this first lesson won't really be biology specific. Um, however, it's, some, it's, it's something I want you to, that, no, not that I want you to know, I need you to know um, to be successful uh, in this course, okay? As well as further, as well as future science courses. All right, so I'm going to, we're going to be talking about Thinking like a scientist. All right. The main thing with thinking like a scientist, there's one word that I want you to relate to this with thinking like a scientist, and it's analytical thinking. Okay, I want you to think outside of the box um, analytically. Okay, don't just look at this as a desk, but look at it as um, a place to sit to take your notes or a place to sit and take a nap. Um, so think outside of the box. We'll get into more of that later on. Um, I don't want to focus this first video on um, thinking outside the box, okay? But this first uh, few days, first week maybe, um, we're going to be talking about different ways that we think and live. Okay? All right, so this first lesson is going to be identifying variables. Because that's thinking like a scientist. That's looking at not just a science experiment, because that's easy to identify the variables, but that's looking at life and saying, what has effect on what else? Or what does this have an effect on? Um, so, for example, what does coffee have an effect on? It has an effect on whether you're alert um, that day. It gives you caffeine. Caffeine um, increases your attention. So, coffee has an effect on your attention. Um, so I'll write that on the board. This is our two variables, coffee and attention. One has an effect on the other, which one, well, we already said, coffee has the effect on attention. So if we break it down into cause and effect, coffee is the cause and attention is the effect. Okay, this is our two variables. However, we're not going to call them cause and effect. We're going to call them independent and dependent. Okay, so we have an independent variable and a dependent variable. Like I said, in the science experiment, um, you need to be able to identify this IV, and you need to be able to identify the DV. But we can we can see these two variables um, in everyday life, and that's what we're going to talk about in this first lesson. Just getting a grasp on what each one of them is. Okay. All right. So let's look at the IV first. We already said we may not have said. 
If I didn't say forgive me. The IV is the cause. Okay, so this is what happens first. Okay, it happens first, and because it happens, then something else happens, which is the effect. Okay, so it's the cause, and it is the variable. Let me check my screen. I don't want to go off the board. Yeah, I got one. All right, so the IV is the variable that is manipulated. All right, so it is the variable that is manipulated. Well, what does manipulated mean? Um, it's, it's the variable that is changed or altered. That's the one we do something to. Uh, in our coffee and attention, the coffee is what we change. We could drink a lot of coffee or we could drink a little bit of coffee. Um, it's the one that is manipulated or it's the one that we control, okay? The DV is the effect, that would be attention in our first example, I mean in our own example. It happens because of this right here. So it happens next. I'm not going to say happens second because there might be several IVs. Might, there's not always just one. So it happens after the IV, all right? And it is the variable that is measured, or it is the variable that changes because of the IV. Okay? So we don't drink a lot of coffee. Because we didn't drink a lot of coffee, we don't have a lot of attention. It's the one that happens next. Um, we do drink a lot of coffee. Because we drink a lot of coffee, which is what we affected, then we have more attention. We have better attention. Okay? So it is the variable that is measured. That's important when we get to graphing. I'll, ex I'll explain that later on. Just know that it's the variable that is measured and it changes because of the IV. Okay? So it changes. So I wrote up here, it happened. I wrote happens first on the IV and then the DV happens next. I was going to write changes next, but we already got it. Okay. Um, let me check my time so I don't want to keep you guys too long in each video. All right. We're right at the 830. Um, all right. So this is IVs and DVs. I'm going to um, put some examples on your assignment today. Um, all that I want you to do, so I will give you five to ten examples. Uh, for example, say an apple a day keeps a doctor away. So if the, if the example was apple and doctor visits, in your head right now think which one is the IV and which one is the DV. Which one happens first and then which one happens because the other. In your head. Um, if you said apple was the IV, you're correct. So you would just write IV under apple and under doctor visits, you would write DV. Okay, the apples, what we change, we could eat a lot of apples, we could eat a little bit of apples or no apples. And because we eat that many apples is going to have an effect on our doctor. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, um, but that's uh, the same, okay? Um, so I'll give you five to 10 examples, you will just write Write the two variables and then write IV under the one you think is the one that causes and then DV under the variable that you think is the effect. Okay, so that's it for our first lesson. Thanks for tuning in. Um, until next time, take care. God bless.